Have you made the decision to get a new dog, but you're not quite sure which breed is right for you? Well, in this video, we'll take a look at two smaller breeds that might be ideal for you. The Shih Tzu and the French Bulldog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Shih Tzu Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's jump into today's video where we'll be comparing these two small breeds. Let's take a brief look look at the history of the Shih Tzu. The Shih Tzu is a popular little dog that regularly sits in the top 20 on the American Kennel Club's most popular dog list. Originally found in Tibet, the Shih Tzu's ancestors were highly prized by the Tibetan monks. They kept them in the monasteries as they were known to be loyal and trustworthy companions. Originally known as the Tibetan Lion Dog, they were gifted to Chinese emperors and were kept in the Imperial Palace. When in China, the Tibetan lion dog was bred with the Pekingese and the Chinese pug. These crossings gave the Shih Tzu their unique look, which they had a striking difference to the Tibetan lion dog. The Tibetan lion dog went on to be known as the Lhasa Apso. It wasn't until the 20th century that they made their way from Asia to mainland Europe. They eventually landed in the UK in the late 1920s and gained Kennel Club recognition in 1949. 20 years later, they were recognised by the American Kennel Club in 1969. The French Bulldog is a breed adored by many, but did you know that they actually aren't from France? The breed originates from England, and the French Bulldog is an ancestor of the Molossian Dog. Unfortunately, this breed is now extinct. To create the French Bulldog we know and love today, English Bulldogs were bred with the Terriers and Ratters. The Toy Bulldog became very popular among the lace makers in Nottingham. They were so well loved that the Toy Bulldog was selected to become their lace makers official mascot. During the Industrial Revolution in England, the lace makers began to feel like their trade was being threatened, so they decided to relocate to France with their canine companions and continued to make lace. The Toy Bulldog instantly became a popular breed to own for everyone. They soon became a favourite for French aristocrats. The Toy Bulldog's name was changed to Bulldog Francais, which was later translated into English into the French Bulldog. Shih Tzus are famous for their long show coats and top knots that keep the hair out of their eyes. The Shih Tzu has many different colour of coats, and any colour is acceptable except mill. Keeping the coat looking its best takes a lot of work, daily brushing and combing is essential to prevent tangles and they need to be bathed at least twice a week. It's not uncommon for many owners to clip their coat short. However, this needs to be kept on top of and requires a trip to the groomers every six to eight weeks. They're said to have a chrysanthemum face. Their heads are broad and round with a lot of space between their eyes. They also have a nice full beard and full whiskers with the hair growing upright on their muzzles, hence their chrysanthemum appearance. This small dog stands up to 10.5 inches or 26 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 16 pounds or 7 kilograms. The French Bulldog is a small yet muscular breed. They grow up to 12 inches tall which is around 31 centimetres. Males can weigh up to 28 pounds which is approximately 12 kilograms. Females are slightly lighter at around 24 pounds which is around 11 kilograms. French Bulldogs still have the same wrinkles and folds as their English Bulldog counterparts. They sit low to the ground, have short backs and a deep broad chest. French Bulldogs have small but strong legs with their back legs being slightly longer than their front. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know that we have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. It's where I've boiled down and condensed all of my skill set, experience and knowledge in raising perfect puppies into this mini course. Like I say, it is completely free. If you are interested in checking it out or just want some more information, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you are interested, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. French Bulldogs have a smooth coat that can come in a variety of different colours including both light and dark brindle, fawn, brindle and white, fawn and white and pied, white with patches in the colour of any of the recognised colours. Originally two different types of ears were accepted in the French Bulldog. The erect bat-like ears we know on the breed today and a rose ear are similar to the ears on the British Bulldog. 
Both ear shapes are still bred today, but the erect ears is the most common type of ear seen. This Shih Tzu is a low to moderate energy dog that only requires a short amount of exercise each day, but they also require some mental stimulation. They're an intelligent breed that do have an independent side to their character. This can make them a little stubborn at times, which is important to bear in mind when training and socialising them, as they will require a level of patience and consistency from you. As well as their independent streak, they are confident and outgoing little characters. They love to be the centre of attention and be involved in anything that goes on in the house. They adore human contact and are most happy when around the people they love. Being intelligent and eager to please, they make an ideal choice of dog for first time owners. They show very little sign of aggressive behaviour, but they are naturally cautious with strangers. However, they will keep their distance until they feel comfortable. The French Bulldog is a calm and loving dog that was bred for the purposes of becoming a companion dog. They're extremely loyal and affectionate towards their family. However, this can cause some issues as the breed is prone to suffering from separation anxiety. It's important that you teach your French Bulldog straight away that it's okay to be alone sometimes and their owners will always return back home after they leave. If separation anxiety is not dealt with, it can lead to unwanted behaviours such as barking, chewing and toileting in the house. French Bulldogs are patient dogs and love to please their owners, which makes training usually an easy task. However, they can be stubborn sometimes, so consistency is key when training this breed. Socialisation is also a must when getting your new French Bulldog puppy. This will ensure you end up with a calm, well-mannered and happy dog. You should try to socialise your dog to as many different people and situations that you can find. You can do this from day one of getting your puppy by carrying them around outside with you. Once your French Bulldog can go out for walks after their vaccinations, they should get around 30 to 45 minutes of exercise daily. Shih Tzus generally get along well with children, but do require a good level of socialisation to feel completely comfortable. Although they're a friendly and affectionate breed, they can often feel threatened by the boisterous and unpredictable nature of little ones. This can occasionally lend them to be nippy when they do feel uneasy. This is something to think about if you do have young children. Shih Tzus can get along well with young children, but it is equally important to teach the children how to behave around them and how to respect them and their space. As we always say though, any interaction between children and dogs should be supervised by an adult to make sure things don't get too boisterous. With regards to other dogs and pets, they generally get along really well as they are a social breed by nature. They can sometimes be a little feisty at times, especially when introducing them to new dogs or other animals. The French Bulldog is a very gentle and friendly breed that will soon become your children's best friend. They love to play games like fetch and hide and seek with children and have a similar energy level to children. However, they do have a pro drive and will have a tendency to chase smaller animals. That's not to say that when socialised properly and brought up alongside smaller animals like cats and rabbits, they can live together harmoniously. It is not advised that you ever leave your French Bulldog alone with any young children or smaller pets as accidents can happen. The Shih Tzu and the French Bulldog are two of the smaller breeds available. They're very different in their appearance and grooming needs. Although they both get along really well with young children, they're both most content when they're surrounded by the people they love. If you decide one of these breeds is for you, then I'm sure you'll be thrilled with your new canine companion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Shih Tzu videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenris Shih Tzu Show.